We got that guy Thompson. He's a famous violinist. Wow. That's me, Thompson. I play produce music. I'm Brian Goldstein. I went from special ed student to eight figure CEO. I'm Andy Kelly Fresh, and I'm a double agent. And together, we are the Three Wise Men. What's up, guys? We're here on our next episode of Three Wise Men. You have myself, Andy, Brian, and Tyler here with us today. Um, we want to start off by welcoming our new sponsor, Ride On Optics. They are our new partner in our wonderful adventures of becoming wiser or smarter, whatever way you want to put it. I was already smart, bro. Same difference. Yeah, you get my point. Anyways, we just want to say welcome and thank you. Uh, they were kind enough to send us some toys, which we're going to talk about today. We'll start off with the X3 Tactic, the 525 by 50 scope, the X5, and the X5 Tactic 1 by 6 by 24 which uh, we're gonna start unboxing here. But uh, so right here we have the X3 Tactic Pro. It's like a, a simulation of an RMR, I guess, from Trijicon, but this is way better. Just saying. Aren't they all considered RMRs, Tyler? I don't know. I think RMR is like a trademark, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I think so too. Nonetheless, this is the best one yeah. you can get out there. So, so it's similar to an RMR. Correct. So in here we have uh, our thank yous. Might as well just read one of them. So it says, thank you for purchasing from Ride On Optics. We greatly appreciate that you chose Ride On as your optics partner. Our service does not stop after you purchase. Not only are we here to help you, but we invite you to share our stories and experience with us on all our social media platforms. Uh, one of the cool things about Ride On that I was gonna mention, I'll do it now, is they're the only veteran slash law enforcement company uh, owned. So nice. it's a combo of two, which is great because then you have both worlds kind of mixed into one so that you can use on both uh, different scenarios or different types of jobs that you're going to do. So, And you're supporting Leo. And exactly. Military. Which is big right now because they do put in a lot of work and again, they do a lot for us. So definitely a cool uh, little combination there. But we'll take this little case off here. That's a sweet little cover too. A little right on right there. Pretty sweet. Right? Look at that thing, dude. That's freaking cool. Kind of just a little quick it's in here. Yeah, yeah, we're going to take that one off. Which one? The Picatinny. Yeah. Two screws on the top. Check this out. See if you can get that dot in me. Got it? No? No? Sweet. What do you think, Brian? I like it. All right, so while Brian over here plays with the new toy, we're going to move on to the 1x6x24 optic, which it's our X5 tactic. Check this out. Look at this cover, dude. Ready? Got the little magnet cover. That's Tell me that's it. not really cool. That art design. Their attention to detail on their just packaging alone is impressive. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Well, yeah, dude, it shows that they care about their product, which I love. But more importantly, the toy. It's Look at a good this little thing. size. 1 by 6 by 24 with an MRAD. And it comes with covers. That's nice. Yes. That's very is. rare, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. All these other companies make you go buy them. Uh, yeah, exactly. $3,000 scope with no covers on No fucking $2 cover. Yeah. Good idea. Check that out. And they were nice enough to give us our, our mounts with them. Nice. We need it, which we will definitely for this, this optic. Nice and rigid, too. It you is. can see it's a very, um, I mean, close quarters to even a little, you know, 100, 200 out. It's, it, the reticle in here seems like it could uh, be very versatile. Yeah. Put it on an AR? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's funny. I talked to the creator of that reticle, uh, Jeremiah, and he's super excited about this, this optic. I mean, he built it from, he, it's funny, when I was talking to him, he talked about building it from a napkin to an actual sketch to the blueprints to what you have now in front of you. So it's actually pretty cool to see something go from paper straight to actual, uh, an actual real optic, so. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Pretty yeah. sweet. All right guys, so the last one that we have is an X5, five by 25 by 50. Now this is probably by far the best optic that they sent out, which I can't wait to use and let alone mount on one of our guns. This is gonna be great, so ready? Look how big this thing is, dude. That's what she said. Dude, this is ridiculous. All the little stickers and stuff they hooked us up with too, but man. See, this one's got caps too. Yeah. That's nice. Dude, that thing's huge. So, and again, really cool scope. 
Um, what's cool about this one has an MRAD versus an MOA, and I'm going to turn this over to Tyler right now so you can talk a little bit more about that real quick. Yeah, I mean, I don't know too much about it, but I do know that I personally use MRAD adjustments, which is a little different than MOA in the increments that you're measuring. Um, it's, I'd say, preference-based. Um, some guys who are precision shooters will prefer MOA over MRAD, um, but in my opinion, it's really preference-based. Um, but one small little point I'll point out that I noticed because I've had really expensive scopes. I undid the cap just because I was curious on the illumination. And from the factory, it actually came with a battery in it, which is nice because I've gotten really expensive scopes that come with no battery. So your SOL. But um, I mean, out of the box, take it to the range and uh, you can illuminate, which is kind of cool. It was a small little feature I thought was uh, pretty sweet. but. Overall, I'm very impressed with the uh, scope in general. It's, uh, it's hefty, and another note it's, is uh, nice clicks. Nice, firm clicks when you're adjusting it. So the last thing you want on your you know, high power, long range scope is a mushy click when you go to adjust it. You know, you wanna hit every time the same click, you know. Extra crispy. Yeah, extra, extra crispy. Get that point across, so. Yeah. Yeah, so overall, I think this is a sweet scope. Pretty sweet. I like it. Well, guys, it's enough talking. I think it's time to start mounting these and uh, putting on our putting them on our favorite gun so that we can uh, go and shoot them and check them out. Let us let you guys See know how they perform. Exactly, right? exactly. So stay tuned, guys, for our next three episodes where we're gonna mount each of these onto one of our favorite guns and zero them in and shoot them. So again, if you guys haven't subscribed. Obviously subscribe because you're gonna get some good content like our videos comment down below Let us know what you think if uh, Ride on one of your favorite optics and you want to get one the links down below too so you guys can go check out their website and Shoot the things that we shoot. We'll see you next time guys out, leaving home, Change the world